Hello and welcome to the Sacreds community. To join us in the Sacreds, you will want to have a few different applications installed. We're going to start out by going to Google and searching for Sync Thing. You'll click on the first link and scroll down and whatever your device is, go ahead and get that here. Most people working with us are probably on Windows or Mac. Get the 64-bit versions. And go ahead and download that. Once it downloads, you'll want to open that up. And when you open it, I put mine in the C drive and here in SyncThing. You'll want to double click on SyncThing.exe. Once you do that, go ahead and open up your browser. Now it might do this automatically for you but it should take you to 127.0.0.1 colon A384. And going here, this is the sync thing interface. And you're going to want to add a folder. And when you add a folder, give it the folder ID. Now this must be the same as what I type in here, the sacreds, all lowercase, and then the folder path. Choose a place on your computer that you can hold about 200 gigabytes of information because our game is very big and we have the same files synced all over the place. In mine, I have it on my network, on my Z drive, and I have a folder here called The Sacreds. So I go into that folder. And whatever this folder is called, whatever the address is up here, I simply click that address and I copy that and I take that back and I paste it in here. So yours might be wherever you want. You don't have to call it the sacreds, you can call it whatever you want. This one here has to be exactly what we write. However, this one here is whatever folder where you have about 200 gigabytes free. And as we grow, it's going to take up more memory. So keep that in mind. This is a big game. This is a big project. And you will want to have some space reserved to work with us on that. And we have file versioning turned on to trash can file versioning. And we have it set up for 14 days. OK, and then you'll hit save. Now, I already have mine, so I'm going to cancel. But you would hit save. Okay, in doing that, yours will look similar to mine. And then you want to go to Actions and Show ID. On the Show ID screen, this isn't private. You can give this up to anybody you want. You're going to copy this here. Now, in copying that, you'll open up your OneNote. I run OneNote 2016. And maybe you have the free version of OneNote. doesn't matter. Make sure that you go into the Sacred's OneNote and you could be in this screen so you'll go into the hard magic section and go to hard magic and from here I'm going to make a new page and I'm going to call this page sync thing so I'm going to paste in my own ID here and what I'd like you to do is right underneath my ID, put yours. Go and paste that in there. And I'm going to bold mine so that everybody knows that all you have to do is have my ID. Now you take this ID, you go right back in. Let me find the page here. You go right back in here to your sync thing. And down here in the lower right hand corner, click Add Device. When you add device, you'll paste in that code that you found on the OneNote page, which is right there. That's the only one that you need. And then the device name, 
I want to call it the hard magic master because this is our master server here. And that's really all you need. And then down at the bottom, you want to choose the folder on your computer where you're saving all of your sacreds data. So mine is called the sacreds, and I would click save. Now this is myself, so I'm not going to click save. But that's the idea. That will send me a message letting me know that you're syncing with me. And I'll do the same with you. I'll have to go back into OneNote. I'll grab your ID out of here after you put it in. And I will put it into my sync ID. Once we do that, we're both synced with each other, and any changes that you make on your computer will automatically be changed on my computer as well. That's how we sync tons of data all across the world. And in looking in here, in the secrets folder, you see that we have audio, documents, media kit, photos, private, think tank, video, and website. That's the main idea of everything that we have in the secrets area. So depending on what project you're on, you'll want to put your information into the appropriate folder. Let's say that you're working on audio, go ahead and go into the audio folder. And you can see that we have the raw video files, these are probably WAV files. We also have private content. I lock this content out after it's already finished, so never worry about going in here. And we also have MP3 or compressed media. So keep that in mind. and don't have any other file format. Simply sync to me and it will automatic, it'll automatically download all of these folders onto your computer and then you're ready to go. So if you need to know where this OneNote file folder is, go into Google Plus and go to our Sacreds community. You can go to Communities if you're not already added with us. And you'll find the Sacreds. And in the lower right, you will see all of these. Now there's the OneNote section, and when you click on that, you don't even have to have anything installed. It will bring up OneDrive and the online OneNote right here. So just with that, you can go to Hard Magic wait for it to load a little bit slower since it's not an app and we can go right down to sync thing and you can see that address right there that you can pop into your sync thing now moving on after you have sync thing installed and synced we will be giving out a lot of different assignments here if you're a designer if you're on the technical team wherever you are our assignments will be given to everybody on the team in here we will be using the Google community here just to talk with each other and show off our ideas. You'll see a lot of new people that don't really understand how we work. They'll be posting in here. We'll just be introducing ourselves to them. But the people that have been with us for a while, they will all be using SyncThing and they will all be using OneNote. And all of the work is going to be saved in a folder on their own computer. We all work from home. And then we share ideas back and forth with each other in a very visual way using OneNote. I personally use the Surface Pro. It has a stylus with it, so I can draw to you guys. I can go to the mood boards, and I can mark out here and say, make smaller and blue. Um, so go back through and look at the OneNote to see if I've updated you on any new projects that I want you to do. I'm going to go ahead and delete that back off of there because I don't really want to do that. But this is a great way for me to delegate many different projects around people. You can already go in here and you can get a great idea of what we've been working on, where we are, and you don't need to ask questions when you start with us. Simply go in here and look at the main information and get an idea of what our game is. I'll be posting more videos that give even more information, so stay tuned in the OneNote and stay tuned in the Google Plus community to see where we are. Thank you.